Hey guys, welcome to Big John Malay's World. Today we're in Berea, Kentucky at the Berea Craft Fair. Let's go. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World, straight out of the holler tour. Yee yee! All right, Berea Craft Fair, Berea, Kentucky. Look at all these tents, first off. There is absolutely something for everyone here. We came by yesterday for just a little while, just to kind of scout it out, but we do want to show you some of the tents. So, this first guy has a lot of woodworking. You can see all the bird houses. And of course he has Christmas ornaments and things like that. It's getting shady through here. <clears throat> Something's got my allergies fired up. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm fine. <laughs> Next booth, we've got jewelry. Knives. Does he? Awesome. Yeah. Um some more jewelry over here let me fix my camera so we can zoom in a little bit closer there we go <clears throat> mosaic mixed media pottery lots of pottery around and it's beautiful i mean just beautiful look at this pottery look at that is that not Beautiful. And I was wondering what these are. They are sponge holders. They're sponge holders. We saw some of these earlier today. <clears throat> we were going with taco holders. <laughs> but apparently, <clears throat> it's for the sponges. <clears throat> Paper bead jewelry over here. Paper bead jewelry. I've got to go check. Paper bead jewelry out. This looks fascinating. It does. Hi. Yeah, they're made out so, of recycled magazines. Yeah. Made from recycled magazines. Look at this. Look at these. Oh my word. Don't touch. Look at that. Oh, look at those earrings. These are some beautiful, beautiful things. Yeah, you can actually see the writing and stuff on some of them. Look how beautiful. Oh my word. Never in my life have I seen something like this. Oh, sweet. Nice. Unbelievable. Okay, I took a break from the video for just a moment. I had to buy me a pair of those paper earrings, but look at this. Look at this beautiful stuff. I mean, this is unbelievable. I'm going to go down here and look at this pottery. Look. <clears throat> These folks are from Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, hi. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? It's fairy-like, isn't it? It's beautiful. See what's down here. This guy's making games and toys. Fantastic. Look at this wood furniture. She's got tables and lazy Susans and she's got trunks. Look at this. Game tables. So cool. They're Tennesseans, too. Lord, some more jewelry. I'm telling you, the jewelry folks in this place are killing me. They're killing me. Look at these. Look how beautiful. This is copper jewelry. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. This booth is from Key Largo, Florida. All the way to Kentuck. Look at this beautiful jewelry. My word. Unbelievable. All right, y'all, this is a Bowman Bee Company and from Hanover, Indiana, booth number 68, Berea Craft Festival. All right, so we've tried some of these honeys, okay? And we decided that my favorite one was this one, Galberry Honey. 
unbelievable delicious. I can't wait to make some iced tea with it when we get home. That's going to be delicious. Joe, on the other hand, bought the spicy honey and what what um it's flavored with habanero habaneros and big joe's about to buy bourbon barrel. oh he's gonna get some bourbon barrel too awesome i honestly cannot wait to make some tea with these with especially my honey because it's going to be delicious but anyway guys this is the bowman bee company hanover indiana and then we've got tada some serious tie-dye, some beautiful tie-dye in this one. I'm going to have to go and get a closer look here. Look at this. Look at those vibrant colors. This guy does a great job. You can tell. You can tell. Ooh, look at this wood art. Sawdust Gallery. Nicholsville, Kentucky. More jewelry. All kinds of stuff over there. More pottery. Be nice to him. He's a keeper. Let's see what else we got up here, Ian. Gracious Farm. Herbal Remedies. We've got some broom makers. Olive Hill, Kentucky. Those are beautiful. Cobweber. There's some homemade soap. I love homemade soap. All right, y'all. This is the craftiest handmade goat milk soap. Y'all, they actually raise their own goats, use their own goat's milk, and they handcraft all of this fantastic, fantastic stuff they're selling. We did purchase Joe some beard balm. And Ian and I picked out three of their fantastic soaps. Now, let me tell you something. It was a hard shot. It was a hard pick. But they have some beautiful, beautiful soaps. And they have lotion bars. And they have all kinds of stuff. Aluminum-free, natural deodorant, beard balm, solid lotion bars, goat kisses lip balm. Fantastic. So... Guys, I will be including all the information how to order from these fine folks in the description on this video. Um, they do have an online store, so make sure that you go to the description on this video after you finish watching it, of course, and check them out. They are from Sturgis, and they Kentucky. Mm -mm -mm -peach. Woo! All right, this is a kids' area, so what we're doing here is what would you call this? What are we going to call this? Marbling. Marbling. Marbling, yes. So what you do is you drop your paint into this water here and then you use a little stick and you can kind of stir it around. Kind of make it look like a tie-dye sort of. And then you're going to dip your mask. And here's what the masks look like. And there, yeah. And there's some finished ones right there. Yeah, and here's some finished ones. And this is kind of what they look like when they're done. Isn't that cool? Now they've got salt art over here. Now, Jocelyn, this is Jocelyn. Hi. <laughs> um, what you do, you take your glue and you make a design on your paper. And then you take the salt, just regular table salt. And you put it on your glue. Kind of like, you remember when you were kids and you did that with glitter? Kind of the same process. Shake off the excess and then you take the paint and you can paint over the salt. Takes forever to dry. Ian made one yesterday. Lord, I didn't think this thing was ever going to dry, but it's beautiful. I'm actually, I'll put the, I'll put Ian's finished um, projects in the end of this video so you can see his, but Ian's turned out so well. I think I'm going to put them in frames and hang them on his wall in his room. That down there looks like an old amphitheater. Um, they used to have some live music and things like that down there. Some churches still have like their sunrise services for Easter and things like that, but that's pretty cool down there. But this is the kids area. Super fun. Ian's over here making collage. Let's, let's see what he's doing. Cutting out papers up. Cutting out pictures out of magazines. Gluing them on cardboard. Right, Ian? It's pretty fun though, isn't it? Yeah. All right, going down this side, we've got quilts. 
we've got glass works. Look at that. Look at all those glass. Blown glass. It's beautiful. We've got syrups. Beautiful photography. There's the soap folks again. All kinds of pottery this way. They really have some cool stuff. Look, we have a blacksmith. Blacksmith. Awesome. They've been doing some demonstrations today. Ian walking on the hay. Hey there, country boy. Country boy. <laughs> but isn't this beautiful? Isn't this area beautiful? I mean, it's just really something to see. It's rained a little bit today. So it's been a little humid, but it's not too bad. It's real shady through here. So it's pretty cool. But here's another look around back here. y'all that's it for the berea craft fair berea kentucky wow berea is awesome <laughs> yeah. it is we bought a few things and we want to show you you know all kinds of vendors there all kinds oh, of craft yeah. things they had you know leather. jewelry leather glass blowing they had a blacksmith they Honey, had syrups oh listen jewelry. anything and more that you could think yes. of it, the weather turned out to be pretty decent it was it's been raining on and off all day. It's actually getting ready to storm now. But um, it wasn't too hot. Yeah. It was a little bit humid. Well, plus, it's up in the woods, so it's shaded. The whole festival shaded. Yes, it was. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is these ear bobs that I bought. If you don't know what ear bobs are, that's Appalachian for earrings. earrings. <laughs> Look at these. Those are made out of... Pages of a magazine. Pages of a magazine rolled up. The paper beads. And they, she puts, puts, she puts all, I mean, it's a lengthy process, yeah. she says, you know. She She glues them and then she shellacks them like a hundred times. Oh yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, pretty awesome. And ne the next thing we bought was some local honey. Now this is um, gall, gall berry honey. And it's kind of like. I can't remember what she said. It's kind of like. Um, like a mulberry? No, like. Maybe. Maybe mulberry. Yeah, maybe. Holly. She says it's kind of like holly. Oh, yeah. Um, spicy honey. Maybe Joe habaneros. Tried, I didn't try this one. Made with habaneros. Yeah. Is it good, though? Oh, it's real good. Real good. Had it's some good on chicken or something. Yeah, it? it's, it's real chicken ribs. Yeah. And then we got one more honey. Bourbon barrel. Bourbon barrel. It was decent. It it's was got decent. a caramely taste to it. It does. It wasn't bad. wasn't my favorite, but I'm looking. I'm going to put that gallberry honey in some iced tea. I think that will be yes. fantastic. Be great. Ian had to have an authentic Berea, Kentucky tie dye shirt. We got him a tie dye shirt so he can fit in with these folks around here. A lot of tie-dye wears around here. It's oh, fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. Then we got some soap. Some homemade soap. And I got some beer now, bomb. This is from the Craftus. Okay? Now they do have a website and they will ship to you. I'll put all their information in the, in the, in the, um, description. In the description box so you can order you some of this homemade soap. Now, it's goat milk soap. Now, yes. they do raise their own goats. Yep. And they use their own goat's milk to make all this fabulous yep. stuff. So, first thing we got was beard balm for Hot Joe. Toddy. Hot toddy beard balm. And it smells. So good. Oh, it smells good and fresh. Yeah. Good and clean. You smell? It doesn't have the woodsy patchouli smell to it. Yeah. It's, it's really, really nice. It's really nice. So, Ian and I picked out some clean. soap. For us, we may try this out here in a minute when we get back to the hotel. 
Um, it's starting to rain. <laughs> we got lime in the coconut. Smell that one. Mm. Ian and I have smelled these already. And then we got goat meal. Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle. That was my favorite. Oh, yeah. Good and clean. And then we got goat meal. Of course, that's made with oatmeal. And that's good if you've got any kind of rash or if you've gotten, um, if you have something like Ian has like eczema or if you've got um, mug bites or anything like that. Or just a stinky tail. Or just, or just, you just stink and you want to take a bath. <laughs> Either one. But it smells real good and fresh. But that's about all we bought at the craft fair. We did get some fresh squeezed lemonade. We, which was good. we did. We got some fresh squeezed lemonade. We went, went to see our buddy Scott at the children's, at the kids' tent. You know, they do all the hearts and crafts and things. That was fun. But guys. And we have to thank Scott for being such a good host. Yes, yes. He showed, you know, he told he us where us to around. go for things. And, you know, we went down to College Square today and um, Berea College Square and we bought some Berea College t shirts and things like that. It was fun. It was just, it's and been if a you great day. Subscribe to Scott. Go subscribe. We'll leave his link to his channel in the subscription as well. Tales of the Techno Hillbilly. So if you ever plan on coming to Berea, that's the man to talk to. He knows everything. He everybody. certainly is. He certainly is. Berea is an absolutely fantastic area to visit. I mean, if you are into arts and crafts of any kind, oh yeah, these are your people. Nice, these quiet town. are your people. It's a laid it's a, back. Yes, yeah, a laid back so college laid back. town. It's beautiful, beautiful. Everybody's nice. We love Kentucky, though. We absolutely love Kentucky. It's one of our most, besides Tennessee. It's one of our one of our one of our top three in the honey. It definitely We're really is. We're kind of fond of Kentucky. We love Kentucky. All right, guys. So you find yourself looking for some arts and crafts. Now the arts and crafts festival is only held one weekend a year, right after the Fourth of July. But they have arts and crafts places all over this town. Oh yeah. So you're looking for a fantastic Everywhere. little little town to to look at some arts and crafts. Make sure you check out Berea, Kentucky. Yes. You will not go wrong here. Tell everybody that you know that Big Joe Malia sent you. And as always, we want to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe Malia's world. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye, guys. Like and subscribe. Check out the Techno Hillbillies channel. Link in the description. Seems like they just don't get our ways. They try to control. Oh